Hey, what's going on guys? It's Combo here. Welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 footage on my channel. I'm bringing you guys a free-for-all from, I think, January. This gameplay was from a while ago as well, so I do hope you guys enjoyed. I think it was recorded from theater mode, it looks like, by the looks of it. So, I'm using the tar here with uh, fast mag and the quick draw handle. Something I always used on assault rifles in Black Ops 2 is the draw handle. It just made it easier for me, like it felt like a, a submachine gun in this game, so it made it easier to run around with assault rifles in this game for me at least. So I always used a quick draw handle, but you'll see as well I'm using some weird perks. I think I'm using blind eye or something like that, but I'm not sure why I was using that. Uh, maybe I was trying to get some challenges done for it or something, but really, really there's no use for a blind eye in free for all, especially like not many people even have score streaks up in the air, but Nonetheless, I do hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Right before I wanted to talk about uh, Black Ops 2 or just how it was in general, I, I just wanted to ask if there are any editors out there who are willing to possibly edit my Black Ops 2 montage. I have been saving clips for the whole time I've been playing Black Ops 2, so it's been a while. I have a lot of quad feeds, but after a while I stopped um, you know, trying to, to record the clips or just trying to get clips, I guess you could say, but I just have um, about... 15 to 20 quad feeds maybe something around there um, nothing too special at all I'm not really a big montage maker but you know it's always fun to to make the montages I have in the past and it's like I said it's a lot of fun so I've saved up my clips and they're all here on my computer I have them already zipped in a file for whoever wants to edit I was thinking about doing an editing contest and I think I, I will but um, I just want to have this this montage done and then the clips that are left over or the clips that whoever edited it it didn't do or didn't use um, you know I'll, I'll put those and I'll do maybe an editing contest for you guys who you know maybe you want to try to edit it or, or whatever so I did one of those in the past it was it was pretty fun and I enjoyed it it was bl in Black Ops 1 so maybe I can do another one in here like I said so uh, if you're interested in possibly editing the montage for me, uh, let me know, send me a message or tweet me or whatever. Um, and as well as that, I have to maybe see a little bit of your work or, or whatever. I'm not looking for anything too special. Like I said, this montage isn't that great. It's just a few quad feeds I want to show off to you guys. And you don't really have to go all out for the editing or anything like that. Just something quick. It looks nice and sharp. All that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, please don't take it personally if I don't, um, you know, accept... I guess accept is the word um, your offer for editing the montage appreciate all you guys who want to edit it so anyway let's get right into it I'm using the the guardian here I think I end up getting the final kill cam with it when we go back in theater mode and look look at the uh, the kill cam I think the guy actually spawned in my guardian and he couldn't get out in time or something like that but it was pretty funny so I stuck it in at the end I'm using the lightning strike as well and I think the lightning strike was something they did right in black ops 2 for, for a score streak I, I believe they raised it up um, from the game, from this gameplay. Um, they they patched it and made it uh, require more score as well as that. Like with the with the UAV, they did the same thing. Um, but you know, I think the score I think the score streaks in Black Ops 2 were were very very well um, thought out. I think that the only problem they had with Black Ops 2 score streaks was in team deathmatch and free for all it just takes too many kills to get the higher score streaks like for example if you went back to to the other call of duties take for black ops one i think the, the kill streaks there were, were great as well but they could have done a, a few different things they could have possibly added some more kill streaks but i think in in black ops 2 they did it well like i said um but for team deathmatch they should have made the score higher or more points per kill so that it would be easier to get to get the score streaks like the swarm and all that kind of stuff but if you go back to Black Ops 1 and Free For All possibly, um, you could, you know, very easily have gotten dogs. Like at that that's the highest kill streak in Black Ops 1 and that was only eleven kills, so um, you know, it's definitely possible to get. But if you look in Black Ops 2, it's it's pretty hard to get a swarm in free for all. You, you need like twenty kills, nineteen kills, something around there. And even with hardline it takes a lot, but you know, it's definitely something they should have thought out a little more, but I personally like the score streaks better in Black Ops 2. Now, overall, I think Black Ops 2 was a very, very good game. I think it was one of the, the better, more recent Call of Duties, and I had a lot of fun with it. It wasn't a game that I really raged at. I mean, if you guys remember from Modern Warfare 3, I think I had like three or four days total playing time on that game before I sold it. I sold it really early, too. I sold it uh, like five six seven months before black ops 2 came out so i i gave up on that game and i'm hoping ghost isn't like that but modern warfare 3 for me was just was just horrible and this game is so much better in my opinion 
Um, I, I really like Black Ops 2, like I said, I, I like the weapons, I liked how they patched, they continued to patch, at least for for the first few months they, they continued to, you know, balance the weapons and all that kind of stuff, and obviously, you know, being on the Wii U, you won't get nearly as much as the other consoles in, in terms of downloadable content, or even patches after a certain amount of time they just stop patching the Wii U version, but I really think that this game ran well, I think it was well balanced, I think the perks are good. The only thing that I really had a problem with, with uh, Black Ops 2, was obviously playing on the Wii U there's not as many players there were only like a few game types you could play like search and destroy was hard to get into I said this I think recently in a past commentary but there there was rarely any you know league play matches going on it's just there's there's only like a few thousand people online so I just think it, it just got a little bit boring to me and I think that's what it just came down to but I, overall I really did enjoy Black Ops 2 I think I have 13 days played or 14 days played so that's some pretty good time on this game Hopefully Ghost will be better than Modern Warfare 3 was. This poor guy actually spawned in my uh, Guardian and unfortunately couldn't make it out alive. So that's a bad spawn. Uh, poor, poor guy, you know, the game just screwed him over. So hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.